hi in this video i am going to explain the intermediate value theorem which is specially used for the numerical methods see see the statement of the intermediate value theorem if f of x is continuous on the interval closed uh, a comma b and f of a into f of b is less than 0 uh, f of a into f of b is less than 0 which means f of a and f of b have opposite sign then the equation f of x has at least one real root or odd number of roots in open interval a comma b do not get confused about uh, here we are using the closed interval and here we are using the open interval because if f of x have a root at point a or b then f of a into f of b is automatically get zero so do not bother about this open interval this intermediate value theorem can be stated in simply simple word if uh, or it can be understood in simple word if we are interested in finding the interval in which the root of f of x is exist then it is sufficient to find a and b such that f is continuous on close interval a comma b and f of a into f of b is less than zero that is f of a and f of b have opposite sign then root lies between a and b see first example in this example i have find out the interval in which the root of function lies uh, see uh, see example find the interval in which the roots of the following equation lies here f of x is equal to x cube minus 5x plus 1 we have to find the value of a and b such that f of a into f of b less than 0 we have to find a and b by trial and error method I have find it. I have find out it. Uh, a is equal to zero and b is equal to one. For f of a, that is f of zero is equal to one. I have calculated this value by substituting the value of x is equal to a and f of b is equal to minus three. Therefore, f of a into f of b is uh, minus three, which is less than zero. Therefore, by intermediate value theorem, f of x has a root which lies in the interval zero comma one. Similarly. I have find out the another interval. I have taken a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3. I have calculated the value of f of 2 which is minus 1 and f of 3 is equal to 13. Then f of a into f of b that is f of 2 into f of 3 is equal to minus 13 which is less than 0. Therefore f of x have a root lies between open interval 2 and 3. Similarly I have found another interval in which the f of x have root. I have chosen a is equal to minus 2 and b is equal to minus 3. The value of f of minus 2 is equal to 3 and f of minus 3 is equal to minus 11. Therefore, f of minus 2 and into minus f of minus 3 is equal to minus 11, which is less than 0. Therefore, f of x has a root lies between interval minus 2 to minus 3. In this way, intermediate value theorem is useful to find out the interval in which the f of x have a root. Uh, one point uh, is uh, important that is uh, if uh, it is given that the roots are positive or negative then we then uh, um, when you are uh, or we are uh, uh, trying to apply the trial and error method for positive root just uh, try uh, starting with uh, 0 1 2 and so on because our root is positive so don't bother about the negative values if uh, it is given that the, our roots are negative then start checking directly from 0 minus 1 minus 2 and do not bother about the positive values because our roots are negative only thank you for watching this video if you like this video please uh, like and share it for more such videos subscribe to youtube channel www.youtube.com slash live mathematica if you have any doubt write in comment box video related to that topic will be uploaded as soon as possible or you can like the facebook page live mathematica post your doubt on page i will try to solve it in couple of days thank you